back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Neha and my channel is called Blush Agenda where I share my passion for all things luxury, planning, goal setting, um, a little bit of beauty and lifestyle. It's a little bit of everything. And so today I did want to talk about goal setting and I've done a lot of videos on this before, but um, I'm just sitting on my couch at home, no fancy setup. I have a cup of tea here and I thought it'd be fun to just sit and have like a little coffee talk or a tea talk. And um, if you're wondering, I am drinking English breakfast tea from Trader Joe's. Okay, the, the light is gonna be changing a lot because I'm sitting right by a huge window and I've got one behind me and so the sun is kind of coming and going. So uh, don't mind the light. We are just going fully natural setup here which I kind of love. Um, okay, so let's get into the video. Recently on Instagram, I saw a lot of people posting this really great, really great quote um, that said that 2020, like the year 2020, is only in six months. Don't let anyone waste your time. <laughs> Whoa, and that just really caught my attention. It got me to sit up straight and think twice and say, wait, what? Oh my gosh, and that is true. The new year, and not just any old new year, 2020, like the roaring 20s, <laughs> are only in six months. And I can't believe how fast 2019 is going by. I say this every single year. Everyone on YouTube says this every single year or every single month, right? But what's unique and cool about this is that if we stop and think about it right now, rather than waiting for the new year, you can really set your intentions today and start you know, creating a vision for your life that far out into the future. And before I go any further, I should give a really big shout out to one of my favorite YouTubers, Sam Ozcrawl. I'm sure you know her channel, and if not, you should definitely check it out. I will link her down below. But she recently did a video about this quote that she also saw on Instagram and sharing some of her personal goals for 2020. So huge, huge thank you to Sam who kind of inspired me to sit down and think about my goals. And I wanted to create a video and in turn encourage you to do the same. So with that, where is my mind at for 2020? Oh my goodness. I mean, <clears throat> there are so many things that you want to achieve and like everyone else, I have a lot of the same, you know, similar goals in life, you know, do well at work, get healthy, spend more time with loved ones, um, take a few trips to new places, visit new places, try new things, stuff like that. But what I want to do differently this time for me, and I want to encourage you as well, is write down something really concrete, one, and two, I want you to write down something huge, like something really, really, really big for yourself. Um, a goal so huge that if it happened, if it came true, you would know without a shadow of a doubt that you really put your intention out there and kind of manifested that into your life, something huge. So it, it all depends on where you're at in your life. That might be starting a new business and maybe that's something you've never done before. Maybe it's moving to a completely new state or even country. Maybe it's, um, you know, getting pregnant and having a baby. It might be quitting your job to pursue a passion. Something really big that um, kind of scares you a little bit and, and puts you outside your comfort zone. Um, and the cool thing is you don't have to have this set in stone right now. There's time to just write down a thought. Just take a piece of paper, take a spare notebook, jot down some ideas of what you want your life to look like when January rolls around, um, or even like the year following. When January 2021 rolls around, what do you want to have to look back on in that year over 2020? And the awesome thing is we have six months from now until the end of 2019 to continue refining, adding more detail to your goal, changing your goal. You have time right now to try new things and also set a lot of those good habits in motion now. I think one of the hardest things about New Year's resolutions and setting new goals in January is there's so much pressure. <laughs> because the whole world is doing New Year and New You, 
and everyone's gonna get healthy and cut out carbs and quit smoking and do an hour of yoga per day. There's just so much pressure in the air. And the reality is, it's the middle of winter. It's the middle of our natural hibernation period. Well, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. If you're watching from Australia or, or somewhere in the Southern Hemisphere, that doesn't correlate, of course, but um, I live in Seattle, I live in North America, so it's the dead of winter and it's very difficult to sort of create momentum within yourself when it's dark. It's very dark in Seattle at that time of year. Um, many parts of the world are really snowy, really cold. You are withdrawn inward and you're just coming off of the holidays, a time of um, fullness and brightness and time with family and usually some indulgences of some kind, either you know, food and drink or traveling and doing something fabulous or just gifting itself, you know? So it's hard to kind of go from that mode and completely swing the pendulum the other way and go to strict, regimented girl boss going after all the goals. I have always found that really difficult anyway, and I think most people do, and that's why um, you tend not to really stick with things. And it's hard to create a habit. There's this quote that floats around that it takes 21 days to form a habit. Well, I don't know about you, I have never actually formed a complete habit in only 21 days. It actually takes me more like 60 to 90 days, like two to three months of consistency um, before I really feel like I have gotten something ingrained in me and it just happens automatically. It takes that long for it to feel automatic. Again, forgive me for the lighting here. <clears throat> Trying to adjust. I'm gonna close this curtain. Okay. Sorry for the lighting changes. I'm, I'm opening and closing this extra curtain to kind of try and keep this consistent. But anyway, <clears throat> in general, it takes a, a few months, for me at least, to feel like my actions have become truly a natural habit and for it to feel automatic. I don't have to think about it anymore. Just like you get up um, and go brush your teeth. It's just automatic, you know? So. Knowing that, knowing that it can take more like two or three months to truly form a habit, we shouldn't wait. I don't think we should wait till January 1st to even know what those intentions are gonna be. I really, really encourage you to dream big. And here's the cool thing. No one is really talking about this just yet. So there's no pressure on you. Nobody is sharing all their goals on Instagram. So you don't, you, you have this really great pocket of time right now to, um, tune in and hear your own thoughts and not feel like you're getting influenced by other people you follow, friends and family, your favorite YouTubers, things like that. You can just kind of uh, go inward and see what is it that you want to create in this new coming year. And then today, today you can start taking baby steps because we have six extra months right now to pre-plan into those goals. What I love about this is, instead of feeling like you only have six months left in 2018, it actually makes me feel like I have six extra months for 2020. Completely turned it around from a negative attitude to a positive opportunity. And that's the main thing I wanted to share with you today. So anyway, go ahead and write down a couple of, or even just one really huge goal for yourself in 2020, and let me know down in the comments what that is for you. I'm gonna keep thinking about this and I will probably come back and share mine with you in a future video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you have a cup of tea and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.